everyone. Welcome to Painting with Maddie with Art with a Heart and Healthcare. It's been a while. Um, I've missed you all. I feel honored to be asked to come back and paint this fun summer blue crab painting. Um, I was trying to think of lots of different things that kind of make me think about summer and ocean animals always make me think of summer because I'm at the beach a lot. Um, I do like to eat crabs as well in the summertime. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to do a nice blue crab. So um, what I have um, here to help me today is my cup of water. Um, I got a brush. This is kind of like a medium sized round brush. You could use a flat brush, honestly. Um, kind of a medium-ish size. Um, and then other than that, maybe just like another little, maybe a little bit smaller of a brush. It doesn't have to be too small, um, unless you want to get even more details than I'm going to put on. But honestly, if you have a good medium-sized brush and a good smaller detail to medium-sized brush, then that's great. Um, the colors I have today on my palette are red, I've got some orange, I've got some yellow, I've got green, I have some blue, it's a bit of a darker blue, not a light blue, um, black, and some white. So, um, those are the colors I have, I have them in, in a row here, if you're wondering, um, what I'm using. And then I have my palette, which is just a paper plate, paper towels, and then um, you can use a canvas if you want, but if you have a piece of paper, that works too. We're even using foam board, whatever you guys have, a flat surface, that works. All right, so we are gonna start by making the background of our blue crab. And since my crab is blue, I thought it'd be nice to make the background a sort of orangey color. Um, that's because they are complementary colors, which means they're opposites on the color wheel. So that makes both colors stand out more. Um, but I gave my orange a little bit of a flare. It's kind of a corally color, um, which is also which also reminds me of summertime. So how do you get a coral color, right? Um, the best way to get a coral color is if you mix some red. Do you have another plate? Um, some red, some orange, and maybe a little white. You could add yellow as well, but um, thank you. So I'll show you right here. So if I get some red on my plate, right in the middle here. Little red, glob of orange, mix those together. Little dark, so I'm gonna grab a little white off my palette, mix that in, and then you can kind of go from there to see um, if it's too red. This is kind of a salmon-y color. I can add more orange. I could also add yellow, but let's just use this for right now and I'll keep adding different colors. Because as you can see in my first one, I it's not all one color. It's a variety of different corals, oranges, salmons. Um, so we're gonna jump right into the, the middle. The reason I'm starting in the middle is because if I work in the middle and work my way out, that has more time to dry, and then we can do our start our crab body right away. So we wanna we wanna let that dry first. So what I do when I do um, paintings like this, my brush strokes are just kind of overlapping, almost like X's. I'll go back and forth, kind of like this. Like there's really no rhyme or reason. I don't. It's not perfectly blended. Um, that's usually not my style, so I like to kind of add brush strokes kind of all over the place as I go. And since I'm going to want to make uh, or let this dry a little bit before I do the body, I'm going to make sure I don't have any huge globs of paint. So I'm gonna just keep using that color until I've used most of it, and then I'll, I'll go back in with some more oranges, corals. Yeah. 
All right, so I'm gonna get a little, a little more orange on my palette here. I'm gonna add a little white too. So then you've got that nice salmon color down. I'm gonna go back and kind of start filling in if I have any little white um, pieces showing in my canvas or whatever surface I'm working on. You wanna make sure they're all filled in. So one thing I learned when I was in art school is that you never have any of your canvas showing. You cover everything up. You don't have to do that, but that's what I learned. <laughs> so I try to make sure I have every little bit covered and I'm just kind of working. It's almost like I'm working like radially, like it's like a big circle that gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I start in the center and work my way out. So I'm gonna just keep mixing different varieties of red, orange, and white, pretty much. You can't go wrong. That's what's nice about this background. If you have red, orange, and white, you're good. You can even add a little yellow in there if you want it to be a little lighter, but those are pretty much the only colors I'm using in my background. I'm gonna grab a little yellow, mix that in maybe with some of my orange. It's just kind of a nice variety of all those colors. So maybe if I think it's too much of one color, I'll go back with another color. Keep filling that in. background could be reversed. It could be like a blue background. That might be cool. Right, so I'm just going to keep getting those colors. Like I said, I kind of um, spread it out as I go so I don't have any huge globs of paint, especially if you want to jump in to painting your blue crab right away. Just make sure your paint's really um, thinned out so it's not, it won't take forever to dry. I'm gonna add some more white around so it's a little, I can lighten some of the spots up. so I can lighten some spots up. Okay, if you, um, so I have a longer rectangle 
um, canvas here, and this one's a little more square, it's totally fine, whatever um, dimension you have or orientation you have. Just make it work. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Brooke McKinney says, hey, Maddie, this crab looks so fun and colorful. Yes, that is why I picked it. You guys could write in the comments what are some things that um, make you think of summertime that you might want to paint, you know? Maybe like pool floaties. Pool floaties, that's a great idea. Or, I think Dylan did a popsicle, right? Yeah, that's fine. That's because um, I, I asked, I was like, has anyone done a popsicle yet? Some ice cream too, he's done ice cream. Right. Mm. Yeah, all those good foods. Um, all the fruits too. Oh, I just had such a good peach this morning, guys. Kind of makes me think of these colors. Woo, it was good. just like mine. Mine won't look just like mine. So just remember that. Everyone's got their own style. Uh, give yourself some grace. Be kind to yourself. Embrace your own style. What's your favorite fruit you like to eat during the summertime? Watermelon, of course. I just had a lot of watermelon over 4th of July. Nice berries, maybe. Uh, cantaloupe. <laughs> nice melon, yeah. Alright, so I'm pretty much, I don't see really any white, so what I'm going to do now, like I said before, just make sure I have no big clumps of uh, paint. So I'm going to take my brush, it might be dried out a little, that's fine. But I'm just going to kind of brush through everything, just make sure that I have no big clumps before I move on to my next step. Um, the paint I'm using right now, tempera paint, dries pretty quick, um, so that's nice. Acrylic paint dries quick too. It feels kind of clumpy and wet down here. I'm just going over everything. Like the same brush strokes, back and forth, back and forth, crisscross, X's. So a good way to know if your paint is still wet is if you look at it like at different angles, if it's very shiny, that means it's still pretty wet, probably. So I see some shiny spots over here. I'm just gonna kind of make sure that they're really thinned out. So if it looks dry, so I can kind of feel with my fingers. There's some sticky spots, but for the most part, it feels pretty like matted, almost like chalk. So I think we're gonna be good. So before I start my next thing, um, I'll kind of go over what colors I'll use for um, the crab body. If I could get another plate, please. I should try to get two plates. Awesome. So I'm going to show them a shape I'm going to use for both of them. Yes, thank you. Yay, thank you. Thank you, Christy. My good friends, Matt and Christy, are here today. Mm -hmm. I've missed them, so this is a treat for me today. 
Look, I said it's like guava juice in here now. I wonder if that's a thing, guava juice. Yes, yes it is. is it? Actually, I think I had some last week. Oh, wow. Well, it... Don't drink the paint water, though. Rule number one. So, um, the way I clean my paintbrushes, I always take my paintbrush, and I smush it. I pretend I'm painting the bottom of my cup. So what it does is it agitates all your bristles and gets all the paint out that might be all the way at the top of your brush. Don't just dip it in and go like this. You won't get a lot out. But if you smush it along the bottom, like I said, like you're painting the bottom of your paint cup, then take your paper towels or your drying cloth and smush it really good. And then eventually you won't have much paint in it. So that's the best way. That's how I clean my paintbrushes. It seems to have been working. So. Um, for our crab, he's a blue crab, really cute. Um, for the for the most part, we're going to use green and blue right now, and then we might we're going to be using white as well, but that'll be later into it. Um, so before we start jumping into painting, what I'm going to do is outline my crab. So I'm going to use paint to outline, but if you want and you have a pencil, you can use a pencil. Um, it may be difficult to erase um, your pencil marks, so, but that's okay. You're gonna paint over everything anyway. But for the most part, the shape I used on everything to start was, it's like a lemon shape. So I'll show you right now. So for example, this is my canvas. My crab body is kind of like this. Yes, it does have some like different little variations that I'll add, but for the most part, this is the shape. And then, even more awesome, is all of its little like joints. Um, it has, or its little, I don't know if they'd be the joints, but the segments of like its legs are also pretty much a lemon shape. So for example, if I'm down here doing this leg, it's like a lemon, and a lemon, and a lemon, and a lemon. So it makes our life pretty easy to just kind of go off that one shape and then tweak it as we go. So now I'll, I'll sketch on here with my paint so you'll see what I'm talking about, and then I'll kind of reshape it. So I'm going to draw my other palette, and I'm gonna grab some of my blue, and this is, I'm pretty sure, phthalo blue. Oh, it's just blue paint. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> blue, blue. it's super blue, guys. <laughs> um, so, um, like I said, if you can see, it's a little darker. No, like, um, sky blue or whatever, unless you want that. But mine is pretty dark. So I'm going to grab a big clump of that. And then um, I'm not going to clean my brush. I'm going to grab a big clump of green as well. They're eventually going to kind of all be overlapping mixed, so it's okay. So I got that blue and that green. And you can do all the mixing on your original palette. This is just so you guys can see at home um, how I'm mixing. So it's less confusing with all the colors. All right, so here's my blue crab colors. Like I said, I'm going to sketch with my paint right now. Um, another good thing about this painting is you see all these like crazy lines around it. So it's okay, like I might have messed up right here, but I just kind of went over it. It's supposed to be very like loose. So it's not supposed to be perfect. It's, like I said, it's not blended perfectly well. It's supposed to be like a loose, almost gestural. It's like, um, it's just not perfect, which I like. All right, so I may even this time make my crab a teeny bit tilting. He's a little tilting this way a little. Maybe this time I'll tilt him the other way. So what I'm gonna do, I try to make sure he doesn't take up too much of my space because I still want to get all of his legs and everything. But I'm going to make maybe a shape like this. Just to start. So we got kind of a lemon shape to start, right? So then from there, I can add all of his little crabby features. Um, so I might come down here. Right, and then he kind of has a bottom that comes down a little bit, and then over, and then up a little. 
And then maybe I want to flatten him out a little like this. Kind of like a pie. Ooh, it does look like a pie. Mmm, yeah. Mm. Another, it's another good Peach pie. summer thing. Blueberry pie. <laughs> yes, blueberry pie. Um, so that's kind of the general shape. So I did the lemon, and then I just kind of added this bottom part on. So then at the top here, it may be hard to see this little detail, but the crabs, crabs usually have this little like, it's like scalloping would be the word, but what I mean by that is it's almost like, it's like when you do like ocean waves or something like that. So it's like it goes up like this in a curve, and then it goes up in a curve, and it kind of goes all the way like that around the top of his head. So it's just a nice tiny detail to add to your crab. All right. All right, so we got a nice little crab body going on now. So before I add all my details, um, I'm gonna sketch out everything else still so that we have it all sketched out and then we can fill it in, okay? So, like I said, he's made our life easy. He's a lot of the same shape. So I'm gonna start over here on the side of his lemon body and I'm gonna make his leg coming down here. So like I said, it's like four segments of that lemon shape. So like this, one, two, three, four. And you can curve it as much as you want, make it straight out, whatever room you have on your canvas or your paper, perfect. All right, so let's do the next one. I'm gonna go a little further down. One, two, three, four. Awesome. All right, so now, when I looked at the picture of a blue crab, they do have a little bit of a larger segment on this bottom foot, I don't know why. So all you do is just make your lemon shape into more of like a circle. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. One, two, three, and then whoop, kind of like that, okay? So pretty easy. If you kept it a lemon shape, no one will know, trust me. So let's do um, the other side of the bottom. When I'm doing, um, or, or painting, or trying to get something kind of um, right, um, what would it be like, anatomically correct, I like to do things um, like balance, like this side and then this side, so they look similar. So I'm gonna do this side, and then I'm gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna go over here, do this side, start on the, the same place I start on the other side. This time, I'm gonna do the same thing I did here. I'm gonna have his leg going up. So their legs kind of go different ways, whichever you wanna do, make, him, make it funky. All right, so one, two, three, four. Lemon shape. And then one, two, three, four. Same thing with this guy. I'm gonna make his little bit of, bit of a bigger leg down here for the bottom segment. Whoop. All right. So he looks funky, that's okay. We're gonna add our details. All right, let's add the top part. So right where this little point comes to where we have his bottom leg start, I'm gonna start the same thing going up this way. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna repeat that over on this side. One, two, three, four. That one's kind of coming a little bit. All right, now we're at his big claws, okay? So I'm not gonna paint his claws with my blue quite yet. I'm gonna do those with white first and I'll show you when we get there. So let's do just the first, I think it looks like one segment, two segments, or two segments on each side. So I'm gonna come over here. We wanna make sure he has enough space for his eyes. So right next to these, I'm gonna do a pretty large lemon shape or oval shape, that works too. Same thing here. And then maybe a teeny one here. And a teeny one here. Awesome, okay. So now we've kind of sketched in our crab other than his claws. So how about we, let's do his claws, let's do his claws. So what you're gonna do is clean off your brush 
And like I said, you dip it in the water or your paint cup and you act like you're painting the bottom of your cup. So get all that paint out, out um, as best as you can. And then you take napkin and you smush. And then you're clean. Awesome. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so for our awesome claws. So I did originally, let's see here. You know, I might just I might just draw it out for you really slow, okay? Let's do that. So it's a little bit different than just the plain um, lemon shape, but it's not difficult, trust me. So what I'm gonna do is start over here at this one segment, okay? What you're gonna do is just take your paintbrush with the white on it and go like this. This is gonna be the bottom of this claw industry, okay? Easy peasy. Up here, I'm actually gonna come over a little like this with my claw. Remember, they have pretty big front claws. Or pinchers, pincers. And I'm gonna bring that up and like this. So that top part is gonna be longer than my bottom part, okay? So then, so it is kind of a lemon shape just with this one part in it, right? So then I'm gonna bring up where this line stops, I'm just gonna bring it in a little like this. And then where this line stops, I'm gonna bring it in and have a little curve on that guy like that, okay? There you go, he's got a nice big claw. So what you're gonna do is just mirror that on the other side and I'll do it slow for you again. I'm gonna be over here and I am going to make the bottom part of this claw. So this one, I'm gonna have it almost going like straight up. Bring it out a little bit. Bring it up like this. Maybe it'll go off the page a little, that's okay. The same thing, I'm gonna bring this in a little. And then this guy is gonna come in and curve down a little as well. This claw is so big, it's going off the page. Perfect. Those are the claws you want to eat. Yeah, those are the yummy parts. Poor crab, sorry. You're just so delicious. All right, so now we got that claw in, we can fill it in with white paint. Um, that's because all this detail we'll go back and do in a little. The blue detail. Crab has some sweet dance moves. Oh yeah. Like I said, totally okay if something goes off the side of the page. Actually, a lot of artists prefer that, makes your painting a little more dynamic, a little more different and interesting to look at. So while that white is, um, or the, we just painted that white, you can see I added some um, red. It almost turns into like a pinkish color. So while it's still wet, I'm gonna add, take the teeniest bit of red. And really just kind of add a little bit of color. So I'm gonna add some maybe brush strokes. You know, I'm gonna add a, mix it with a teeny bit of white so it's not so bright red. Some brush strokes over here. So like I said, this is what like gestural painting is. It's like very loose. You might not look at a, a blue crab and say, hey, or, or you might look at a blue crab and say, hey, that's not exactly what a blue crab looks like. But that's what, you're an artist, have fun with it. Add your own details. All right, so he's got some fun claws going on. I'm gonna wait a little bit to do the lines around him or around the claws. Let's go back and fill in our crab body now. So again, coming over here, I have the best assistance that I've been cleaning my water. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's fill in our crab body. This is fun. I'm gonna grab 
some more blue paint off of my palette that I have. Nice bit of blue. So I'm gonna fill in my whole crab body at first with blue, and then we're gonna add some greens and whites, and maybe even mix them a little black into our blue and add some darker spots. But I'm just gonna go for it. Woo! And as you can see, like it dries a lot lighter here. Now we're gonna add some um, green and some white details into it. So I'm just gonna go in with my straight green and start adding those pretty, lay it on pretty thick. Don't be scared, lay it on thick. Kinda like my jokes. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little white too. I'm just doing this with a dirty brush. So you can see over here, I have like almost like zigzaggy marks and that's what I love. I love stuff like that. Like, green and white together. You can even mix a little blue in there, make like a teal. So if you want a really nice teal color, it kind of is naturally popping up in there. If you mix um, blue and green and a little white or a lot of white, you'll get um, turquoise-ish teal colors, which is nice. Add that in some spots. highlighting things, going along the edges of stuff. And then sometimes, um, it, I like where mine is right now, but say you feel like you overdo it with a color, just add that color back. So for example, if you wanted to add a little more blue back in. Just clean your brush off a little bit. Crab a little bit of blue and just go over whatever, you know? So remember, loose brush strokes, don't, don't beat yourself up if it's not blended well. Mine's not. We're going for a very loose brush strokes. Legs. The clean, I. So much water comes, it's so nice. 
I'm going to clean the water. I know. But you never want to. Like I said, painting the bottom of my cup and then drying it off in between my paper towel. All right, so let's start filling in our legs. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of white to that my blue for the legs, just like the background color of the legs. And we'll go back and add all of our darker colors and our whites as well. So it's just like, um, not too much. It's not like necessarily like light, light blue. So I'll show you one second. I'm gonna fill it in. It's very close to the original color. That, it'll dry a little lighter, but. So I'm just filling in all of that. All right, so now we got some details. We're gonna go back and add um, our highlights to our crab legs. And the way you add highlights to things is putting usually white, like a really bright white, kind of makes my crab legs look shiny. So you can clean your brush up if you want to. You don't have to do too much because we are painting on top of blue, which we just used. So again, clean my brush off on the bottom of my cup really good, dried it really good. And now I'm just going to get some of that pure white. And we are going to add little um, brush strokes of white every so often on our legs. So maybe like one here, and maybe a couple here. So all this does is make our crab look shiny, maybe he just jumped right out of the water. He's still got some water on him, some ocean water. All right, so he's looking pretty shiny at this point. Um, so let's see here. I think a couple left. We don't have too many more details, guys. You're doing pretty good. You've been keeping up. I'm pretty impressed. And they can go back and watch these, right? Mm -hmm. So if you need to go back and watch and like pause, that's always good. That's what I do when I watch like artists work on YouTube and stuff. Like I'll pause it for a little bit catch up with whatever they're doing and then play it again. So that's helpful. So don't feel stressed out. You gotta get it all done at the same time as me. All right, so one of the last things we're gonna do is do some outlining. And my outline color is just blue and black mixed together. Super, super simple. So well, I'm going to mix with my um, bigger brush a little black into the blue I have on my plate, okay? So what we're gonna get is kind of like a navy blue color. So it's like a very dark blue, like a midnight blue. All right, that's looking pretty good. So now I'm gonna get my smaller brush. Mine's kind of like a small medium brush. It's not exactly like a detail brush, 
but this is going to be my outline brush. So I'm going to take that dark blue I just made and now we can add some outlines to our claws. So I'm going to go along the bottom of this claw and I'm going to go along the top of this claw. So you're going to pretty much outline it all the way. But then what you want to do to make it look more like a claw is you're going to have this one line and it's on the top part of the claw, the longer part, and it's just a line that goes like that. So it's like the part that moves on your craft. All right, so let's do it over here. Same thing, outlining. Outlining. And then again, I'm just making that one line that goes from here to there so it looks like those claws can open and close. All right, so now I'm gonna add um, some, uh, it might be hard to see where you are, but there's some outlining around here. So kind of like we did with the white paint on the legs, kind of randomly put it. I'm gonna do that with my darker color. So I might do a little on the outside. All This is all gonna be on the outside of the um, leg. So it doesn't have to be exactly everywhere, but what it's gonna do is, um, it's almost like adding some shadows to your craft. So you're gonna have like shadows and then like the middle of it is kind of like the middle tones and then we got nice highlights. But remember, don't worry about going out of the lines because look, we're gonna add some really fun details here soon. You can even go outline his body a little bit. Like I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna outline that scallop thing I told you about. Remember, it looks like ocean waves. I'm really liking this one. I might even like it better than my first one. And that's because the more you practice, practice makes progress. Few more lines all the way on this side. Let's see what else. All right, so before I add all of my fun um, brush strokes out and around my crab. We gotta give him some eyeballs. So I'm still using that same color. It's still that same brush size, it's a little smaller. So I'm gonna try to go right up, almost like, I like to look like maybe like it, it, where the middle of the shell is. So maybe like right here. So I'm gonna go a little off the side here. What I'm gonna do is make a line like this. Boop. So I'm gonna go again, a little off to the side here. Maybe like this. Boop. And then I'm gonna make some nice circles. That's it. Easiest eyes ever. Oh, easy on the eyes. He's easy on the eyes. <laughs> um, so then I said, like, we're keeping it nice and loose and fun. The last step is just to add some of these fun little brush strokes around it. I like to think that, um, like, you know, if you look at a cartoon, um, if something like is moving, it has those little like lines, like the motion lines. That's what I kind of think it's like. So I might add some where maybe his claw is opening up here like that and down here a little bit. And then maybe I want to do some like just squiggly. Maybe this leg's got a couple. This one. So it brings it to life a little bit, you know? So there's no, look, I did a little curly Q swirl down there. Um, and that's my crab. But it's not quite done. And I broke my own rule on my first one. It's missing something. You gotta claim your piece of art, y'all. Gotta claim it. So I'm gonna sign my new crab. You can put your whole name. You can 
put um, your initials, you can put the date. Um, I'm gonna put my whole name. Maddie. Claim your art. And then I'm gonna say 2021. 20, you know? So that's our little crab, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed painting this with me. I had so much fun. I got to come and see some of my best friends here um, that I've missed. Um, make sure that you're look, watching all of Art with the Hearts videos on Facebook and Instagram. Check out our website. Check out the website. Artwithaheart.info. 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 Please, there's lots of fun interactive stuff on there. You can stay up to date with what we're doing. Um, we love you. Thank you again. And we will see you next time. Bye.